President Jacob Zuma has said this afternoon had a meeting with the Reserve Bank Governor, Lesija Khanyako. The meeting took place against the backdrop of heightened concern about the economic trajectory of South Africa as the country markets reel from a credit ratings downgrade. Tonight, Reserve Bank spokesperson confirmed the meeting, saying that it's normal for the governor to meet with the president about economic matters. This happens periodically at the behest of the president or the governor. He said that the meeting today took place at the presidency and that statements would be issued by the office of the president. This meeting also takes place in the context of tensions between the Gupta family and the former Treasury leadership and the Reserve Bank. The central bank leadership is uh, deposed in an affidavit in support of Pravin Gordon's case against the court for a declaratory order not to be required to intervene in a dispute between the country's major banks and the Gupta family. The South African Reserve Bank is, by law, the regulator of uh, banks. South African banks have been hard hit by the turbulence in the political economy, with rumours of a further downgrade of the big banks swirling in the market tonight. It was very important that uh, uh, I get that briefing as to where we are, what's happening, etc. So I'm very happy that I've got a very clear briefing from the governor. Uh, as well as the economic situation in the country and globally. So that is our regular meeting that we've just had. It has been a very good meeting. Of course, it took place at a, a difficult time. It takes place uh, after the, uh, the downgrade by, uh, by Standard & Poor's, and it's a uh, question of uh, understanding the implications of the downgrade for, uh, for, the, South African, uh, for the South African economy. Um, but also importantly to say that this, this economy is actually resilient, that uh, even with, the, uh, with uh, the downgrade, it is very important that we redouble our efforts as, uh, uh, as South Africans and make sure that we at the very least protect the level of the rating that we have now. Well, as mentioned before, South African banks have been hard hit by the turbulence in the political economy and rumours of a further downgrade of the big banks have been swirling in the markets tonight. I'm now joined on the line by economist Davi Root. Davi, thank you very much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you on the programme. Um, today, the president met with the Reserve Bank governor for a chat. And I wonder, what should they have been talking about in that conversation? Yeah, well, the, the president say, and the governor said that this is a regular meeting. And yes, indeed, they do meet on a regular basis. But I can tell you, in the current economic, uh, the current political environment, I don't think any, anything can be seen as normal. So yeah, there will always be questions about what the president was doing at the at, at the Reserve Bank, or rather, when what the Reserve Bank was doing at the present, if my if I understand correctly. I think there are a couple of issues that uh, could have been on the agenda. Obviously, the South African Reserve Bank is concerned about things like, for example, inflation the exchange rate of the currency, and, of course, they, consider, they are concerned about things like, for example, the recent downgrade. You did mention the banks as an example. That is the res responsibility of the South African Reserve Bank as well. So I am pretty sure that the discussion, given the fact that the Reserve Bank is the monetary authorities, probably would have centered around about monetary issues, things like, for example, inflation, the exchange rate, and the banks. All right. So let's talk about the banks. We've had our uh, debt uh, ability uh, downgraded to uh, junk status. And uh, now people are fearing that the banks might also get a downgrade from the same rating agencies. How likely is that? Yeah, I think there are two issues that are important. Uh, first of all, I think I must make the statement that South African banks are really very, very well managed, very much liquid, and the South African banking sector is really very healthy financial sector, which is not always a good thing, just, uh, by the way, because it also means that there's perhaps not enough competition in the South African banking sector. But, but having said that, banks in South Africa are very well managed, and South African banks are probably of the best managed banks in the world. But the reality is, is that we are, the banks in South Africa operate in a certain environment. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it simply doesn't make sense for the sovereign, the state, to be downgraded, and some of these major institutions like the banks not being downgraded with that as well, doesn't necessarily, be, doesn't necessarily mean that the banks will be downgraded, but one would actually expect if the sovereign is downgraded, there's a good possibility for the financial uh, uh, companies like, for example, banks to be downgraded um, as well. And maybe the last comment that I think is also important is that 
certain financial instruments move pretty much in tandem. And those financial instruments or financial assets are things like, for example, the banks, generally speaking, the exchange rate of the currency, and the bond market. So those three things move in tandem quite often. And what we have seen recently is rent taking a bit of a knock, well, quite a lot of knock. Uh, we saw the capital market weakening as well. And it sort of makes sense for the banks to come under pressure and probably maybe downgrade it as well. So, so yes, I'm, not, I'm certainly not surprised if there is a possibility for downgrade on South African banks. But it doesn't mean that South African banks are badly managed. They are, in fact, quite healthy. All right. So what does that mean for the ordinary man in the street if the bank where they hold their mortgage bond is downgraded? Well, I think, uh, I think what it means for the man in the street is that it's not only because of the downgrade, but it's because of the general economic environment and, of course, the political environment as well. A downgrade generally, not only for the banks, but for the sovereign as well, is likely to, to well, we've already seen the rand weakening. That will lead to upward pressure on inflation. Eventually, the Reserve Bank will be forced to, to increase interest rates. If they increase interest rates, you and I, that owe money to the bank, will be will have to be paying will be paying more on our mortgage and our, on our on our on our car, as an example, and that will generally be bad for economic growth. So that's what it means for the man in the street: is that recent political developments affected the financial markets, which will also affect the pockets of your your pockets and my pockets. All right. So uh, perhaps finally, SMP has already come out. They've downgraded us. The other two rating agencies are on a cautious watch. What do you think they're waiting for? And uh, when will they likely, in your view, make a decision? Yeah, uh, Senate and Poor's, remember the rating agencies can make a decision whenever they want to. There's usually a sort of a schedule uh, that they adhere to, but they can, whenever they think there's a reason to change their the rating, they will do so. And exactly that is what we saw on Senate and Poor's now. Uh, Moody's we, uh, has got us two rates or two notches in investment grade, I think if they do the numbers, that they will probably also conclude that South Africa uh, should be downgraded. And I do expect Moody's to downgrade South Africa as well. And they're probably going to meet in two or three months' time or so. Fitch is not really that important, because Fitch recently sort of uh, is paying less attention to South Africa. But, but the important one certainly has been the Standard & Poor's. That's a big one, and that's the one that most investors certainly are, are looking at. All right. OK, that's where we we'll leave it. But thank you very much indeed for your insights this evening. So that was Davi Roots saying that uh, it, uh, these things generally work in tandem. Once the country's uh, sovereign debt rating is lowered, the uh, uh, markets also normally take a, a hit, like the bonds, uh, which we've seen. And uh, then it follows that the banks might also go the same way. But we'll have to keep a watch on that.